5,000 people turn out in Skopje to see their MZT take on the defending champion Partizan. A former Partizan player, Stefan Sinovets, opened the proceedings with a three. And then the French national team player, Geoffrey Lovergne, hit first for the visitors. Georgi Chekovsky then scored the next seven points to put the home team 11 points ahead. When he was 15 to 9 for MZT, Todor Gechowski received a second technical foul and was expelled from the game. Soon after, another technical foul, this time for Partizan's coach Dusko Vojošević. A fiery half ended with the home team five points in front. Partizan led for the first time in the game when Terence Kinsey put it to 26 to 25. But then it was MZT's turn to score eight consecutive points. Bogdan Bogdanovic was the main name of the end of the first half. He scored seven out of nine Partizan's points in that period. And that meant that the black and white from Belgrade won the half by a single point. The visitors opened the second half through Georgi Gagic. But MZT was able to retake the lead through its best scorer of the night, Nikola Otasevic. He had, he had 16 to his name in the end. Then six points in a row for the visitors to make it 44 to 40, after which Georgi Chekovsky received his fourth personal foul, which of course was a problem for Skopje. Partizan took advantage of that and reached the highest lead of the game, plus eight when Milosavljevic was successful for three. After three quarters of play, it was 55 to 51 for the visitors. Milosavljevic assisted for Gagic's slam dunk to make it 62 to 56, but then the home team scored eight in a row and retook the lead mainly through Uro Lucic. Then Alexander Kostovsky scored the next five and Skopje led by four two minutes before the end of the match. After Lovernia dunked just 38 seconds till the end, Partizan was behind by just a point. Skopje in the other end blew the opportunity to score and that meant that Partizan had eight seconds to win the game, which they did just 1.4 seconds before the end, after the initially missed shot from Bogdanovic was nicely corrected by Terence Kinsey, the eventual MVP of the game, with 26 points. The last shot of the game came from Kostoski, but it was blocked by Bogdanovic. And that was win number four for Partizan and of course a big disappointment for Skopje after a lost opportunity.